新しい未来のモビリティただの車ではなくライフスタイルの一部です Nissan The 40 kilowatt hour one will be released、um, initially,、uh, which is、uh, October in Japan, and then we're looking at the early part of next year, certainly here in the UK.、Uh, that they've said、um, by their testing standards is 400 kilometers, 250 miles for a charge, not a chance.、Uh, they mentioned a couple of times during the presentation 150 miles, so I think we can probably guess that.、Uh, Motorway, highway driving, maybe 150 miles. If you're a bit more careful around the town, probably 170. You might even push it up closer to 200, but you'd probably have to be careful. 60 kilowatt one definitely is going to go over 200 miles,、um, but that's to come later next year, obviously with a higher price tag.、Uh, the next thing is、uh, the actual recharging of the battery.、Uh, a little bit longer now. Obviously, because it's a bigger battery,、uh, on your three kilowatt truck charger, if that's what you've got at home, 16 hours. So、uh, that's evening and overnight if it's completely flat. If you've got a seven kilowatt charger, then、uh, we're talking about eight hours, which is kind of similar to where we were at the moment with the 24 kilowatt hour one on a three kilowatt charger.、Um, fast charge or rapid charging, still the same,、uh, which is really great,、uh, 80%. Uh, in about 30 minutes. So that, that's really, really good.、Um, looks. Now, we've obviously had lots of renderings and、um, we've had a pretty good idea for a while what this is going to look like.、Uh, for me, it, it's a Nissan. It looks like most of the other Nissans with a few little styling、um, clues that kind of suggest it's an electric car. The, the blues in there and the zero emissions.、Uh, you know, it's okay.、Uh, there's nothing to dislike about it. It's not. Particularly exciting from my, in, in my opinion, but、um, I like it.、Uh, the thing that I don't like is、uh, where the, the charge flap is on the bonnet. It seems a strange position. Now, they've said that they put it there because it's ergonomically designed, because people like to be able to just plug in, push down and plug in. Now, two things for me. One is when it's raining, that thing is going to fill with water. I know there's drainage holes in it, but it looks the same as the current one. I think it's just going to fill up with water. Second thing is when it's closed, The gaps in the panel on the front look really, really obvious. Now, I don't know if it's because it was under the lights on the stage and whether in real life it will look like that, but I didn't really like it. Why it couldn't be a little bit further down behind the badge on the sort of the black panel there, or the it's kind of a clear panel with black behind it,、uh, I think that would have been a, a more aesthetically pleasing place for it. But that's where it is.、Uh, the gaps in the panel look quite obvious. I'm not a massive fan of that. Uh, the rest of it I like. The side looks actually from a distance quite like the current one. I think it's a bit more squat, but、uh, yeah, it kind of looks a little bit like the, the current one. And the back, the new light cluster coming down from the spoiler, I quite like all that. So,、um, yeah, I think it's a, a positive and I think、uh, it will get people looking at it as opposed to the kind of quirkiness of the original.、Uh, the actual power from the engine is up. Uh, it used to be 110 brake horsepower, it's now 147 brake horsepower. So your 0 to 60 time is going to be that much better.、Uh, the big thing now,、um, that again, we've known about for a long time,、uh, is ProPilot. That is,、uh, there's several aspects to it. The main part is、um, it's kind of like an advanced cruise control, if you like. And、uh, I think this is their very early stages of、uh, developing full autonomy. So at the moment, it,、uh, on a motorway or a highway that's well marked, Uh, you can set the speed,、uh, the distance, uh, and uh, it will basically drive in a, a, a lane following the other traffic. If that traffic slows down or comes to a stop, it will stop. If it speeds up, it will go up to the speed that you want it to. But it will also follow the lane. So, yes, you still need to be in the driver's seat, you still need to have control of it, but actually, it will do the steering for you.、Uh, so, that is、um, a real advance. Uh, there will also be on that,、uh, there's several other sort of features within it,
Um, there's uh, blind spot warnings, but ultimately the main part is this uh, being able to drive itself, if you like, very early autonomy um, in, the, in the car, which is great. Uh, that kind of leads us on then to the e-pedal, which again, we know about. Uh, it's um, definitely in there, and that is driving the vehicle, uh, put the accelerator down, obviously it makes it go forward. Uh, as soon as you start lifting off the accelerator, it starts to pretty much break for you, to the point where if you completely lift your foot off the accelerator, even going downhill, it will bring the car to a stop. And they're saying probably 90% of your driving, you'll never ever have to touch the brakes, which from a, an EV driver's point of view, makes brilliant sense. I love the regen and uh, I can't wait to try this out. Um, kind of a bit more personal within the car for me, uh, the infotainment system, uh, I've never liked the sat nav, uh, it just doesn't seem to work very well for me. So in this car, they're bringing uh, Apple uh, Car and uh, the Google equivalent of it, so you can just connect your phone up and uh, effectively it's like a light version of your phone on the screen. So all the apps that you would normally use in the car, and certainly I do, I have it in the cradle next to me for um, sat nav, etc. Uh, that will now be up on the screen, it'll be all integrated in the car, which is great. Uh, the other part was uh, the, the mobile app, Nissan Connect, it certainly looks different, there's a, um, whether the back end is different I don't know, but the, um, the app itself looks different, let's hope they've sorted their servers out and let's hope that uh, it's, it's a much better user experience, a much quicker experience. Um, now the, the kind of surprise, and I don't know whether this was very well known, certainly I knew nothing about it, um, they're talking about car to grid or vehicle to grid which basically is uh, you plug your car in at home uh, the car charges up but if then your house or the grid requires some more power it will draw it from your vehicle very small amounts but if you imagine a whole neighborhood doing this it, it would make a difference now i think they're only releasing it in japan initially uh, the states aren't getting it uh, i don't know if it will come to the uk um, from the off but the fact that they're thinking like this shows that they are looking towards the future. And that, that again, is a real positive. Speaking of positives, the final thing and the biggest positive of all this, when you consider all this new technology going into it, and there's loads more which I will speak about over the coming weeks. But when you consider all this technology uh, that's gone into it and the vast improvements we've got over the old car, they said in their presentation that the price will not change. The price as it is at the moment will be exactly the same in the new car with all this extra technology. So this for me is massive. This really opens it up to uh, me considering it. Certainly next year when my lease starts coming towards its end, uh, there's a few other cars I want to test in the meantime, but this is without even seeing it in the flesh, it's gone straight to the top of the list. Um, the, if you consider that the Chevy Bolt, although it goes a little bit further, it's uh, I believe seven and a half thousand dollars more expensive than the equivalent Nissan, which has more technology in it. So that gives you a kind of a feel for it. Uh, I'm sure that will change over the coming months, but uh, that's where we are at the moment. So uh, as I said, I will probably speak about this an awful lot more over the coming weeks and months, but for now, there's a snapshot of all the stuff that, uh, for me, was the exciting stuff from last night's launch. Um, and uh, yeah, on the whole, very, very positive. So. Um, that's it for today. If you've enjoyed today's video, remember to like and share it. If you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel for all the future updates and vlogs that I'm doing. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.